Hi guys, this is Sylvia from Trident Woman Yoga. Today I will present a couple of poses, how to open our hips, because when we open our hips, it's much, much easier to get into the inversion on the sling. And also it is beneficial for us because all of our unnecessary emotions are located in our hips. So by opening them up, we simply let it go and we moving forward. So with that said, let's move forward into position number one in front of the sling. Sling is in front of us. We bundle the material, make material very small, place the right foot through the sling and hold the middle handles. But by the hold the middle handles, I mean the finger spread grip. So you still can wiggle your fingers like that. You don't hold it to it because when you hold it to the handles, um, you're using the strength and there's no uh, much strength needed here with your uh, hands. It's only support for us. So flexing the right foot towards your face, making the calf uh, uh, flex and grounding your left heel. We are moving forward with the breath, opening our chest, shoulders are low, foot is flex and we breathe in through the nose. Feeling how our chest is opening up, feeling how our back is opening up by sending the breath in the back, rising our left heel up and on our toes, we move even more forward and we open our hips more forward here. Breathing through the nose and we should stay in this pose about two, three minutes um, but just so you can get the main hint about it, this is the first pose I would like to share with you. Then we are slowly leaning back and as we lean back, we move our sling under our heel. So the sling is under the heel and this time we can grab our high handles just to make it more fun and just to give a more priority. You can still stay with your middle handles, but we're gonna present here uh, high handles. And lifting our left heel up, we are leaning forward. We still flex our right foot towards the face. We still opening our chest and we hinging from our hips, not with the upper body like that. We hinging from the hips. So we really feel the stretch of our hamstrings and our hips here. Breathing through the nose. Deep inhales and exhales. And again, it's beneficial to stay in this pose two, three minutes. Focusing on the breath, relaxing the shoulders, constantly reminding ourselves about that, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the upper body, but leaning forward with our hips, so we opening our hips. Then we bringing our foot back after two, three minutes. And this time we're placing uh, the sole of our foot right inside. And this time we hold everything. So, and the material of the middle handles, long straps handles and the main sling. So I call this number four, kind of looks like a number four we're creating out of our body. And again, we are lifting our heel up dropping our shoulders low, but this time we lean with the whole body. It is an extremely intense pose. It's kind of like a pigeon in a regular yoga pose. And we breathing through the nose by opening our chest. And here we can keep our head down with hinging with our chin towards the chest, or we can keep our head up. It depends how we feel, or we can simply move a couple of movements like that up and down or left and right, just so we give also our neck some ease. Remember when you breathe through the nose, when you send the breath to the place that you feel the tightness the most, that is the way um, you stretch more, you deepen that stretch when you send the breath in there. And again, this pose we hold for two, three minutes on the right side. So this would be the part side, the third, part of the hip opening poses coming back and the same we're gonna do this on the 
left side just a quick reminder left knee through the sling flexing left foot first we grounding the heel down holding middle handles shoulders are low also very important part of it is that when we whichever leg we have in the sling the hip moves forward so always keep that uh, hip the leg is forward back and the one leg that is standing down hip move forward so this way you keep your hips square towards the front so in this case left hip forward right hip um, left hip back right hip forward again left hip back right hip forwards just to not confuse you guys and finger spread grip first just with the grounding heel down lean forward and then you can rise up your toes and lean forward more deep breathing and lean back then moving your leg towards the heel right under your ankle rising up your right heel holding the high handles flexing your left foot and breathing through the nose always sending the breath whatever you stretch whatever feels the most if you hear some cracks this is only for your benefits and come on back then you're placing your left foot inside with the sole facing towards the right part of the sling left knee outside so again it's like a number four the other direction this time you hold everything in it and the sling and the material of the middle handles and the long handles shoulders are down hips are square rising up right heel and lean forward with the full body not only with the hinging with the pelvis with the full body breathing through the nose deep inhale and exhale and again on each each pose it's recommended to stay up to uh, three minutes just so you can have the full benefits of the hip openers and then gently come on back and after all i always recommend to do cha 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 so the hips are coming back towards regular rhythm and this is the few uh, poses that i recommend for the hip opening you feel uh, uh, much more lighter you feel much more happier and you letting go of unnecessary emotions many of my uh, 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 students on my sessions they say that after this uh, flow they walk like they are walking on the cloud so i hope um, you feel a similar way if you like this video please press like comment um, and subscribe to my channel if you like to hear anything more about the hip opening um, poses also let me know and I create a new video for us one for four deep breath